Grand Rising, Grand Rising. It's me, Torian Goddess, coming through with another message. Coming through with another message. Y'all, I'm drinking coffee with 2% low-fat milk and nothing to sweeten the pot. Ugh. I haven't done that in three years. One of my co-workers had challenged me to um, eliminate some sugar from my diet, and I did it for a few weeks, and I was I was all right with it, except for I, I cheated a few times with some creamer. My routine, going to the gas station, getting some gas if needed, playing my numbers, getting my nuts and my snacks and stuff, and my aloe water. I love that aloe water, y'all. And I, I know I just said it, but I got to repeat it. I, I went to the gas station, walked my tail, walked my little fan behind to the gas station, and forgot about my creamer, forgot about I ain't had no sugar. What was my antennas? What was my antennas? Thank you, Most High. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, G's. Envelop us all in a strong white light. Crown our heads with purple and blue. Purple and blue. Yes, I, I, I want us to meditate on those colors. Meditate on those strong colors. Colors of royalty. Somebody need to recognize, analyze, and realize you are royalty. One of my day ones, older than me. My street is a street of unity. The street I grew up on is still home. It, I don't care where I'm at. I can be in the same city. I, I'm going home. They know I'm going home to the street that I grew up on. The street I jumped off the porch. My mom jumped off the porch lightweight on that street, too. That's when my grandparents finished raising their kids and raising us, right? But um, one of my neighbors, one of my kinfolk, been calling me royalty since I was a little girl. I love it. I love it. We got to know, especially my, my black folks and my brown folks, not excluding not excluding um, my Caucasian listeners. Um, I'm, this is just I'm saying this to my, my to the brown and the black ones. We gotta know that we better than what they trying to make us out to be out here. Period. Point blank. We make shit shake. They wouldn't have had no peanut butter if it wasn't for us. The stoplight be hot than a motherfucker in your house if it wasn't for uh, one of ours. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody feel like they being beat down the weight of the world on their shoulders because opportunities don't seem like they coming. Shit. That's all I can say is shit. Because that's what my G said. Shit. My opportunities going to come. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Somebody need to drive safely, though. Somebody need to pay attention to their tires. I, I feel like your tires may be a little wobbly. You may need some air in your tires. The belt in your tire, is it shaking when you drive? Do you hear it? Did you hit a pothole? Did you hit a pothole? Watch out for your goddamn car and pay attention while you're driving because, shit, I see a fender bender on your path, on your route. Pay attention. Pay attention so you don't fuck up your car. I may be talking to an Aquarius, an air sign, born around the first of the year. You may have just experienced a recent death someone close to you I'm sorry for your loss if this has not happened to you my subscriber somebody in your energy somebody in your energy just experienced a recent death somebody thinking about relocating as well somebody is thinking about relocating Here we go. 
I'm sorry about your loss. I'm sorry about your loss. Was it an accident, a car accident? Was this person um, an Aquarius born around the first of the year? Either way it go, I'm sorry. I feel like it was sudden, unexpected. Yeah, you pay attention on your route. You pay attention on your route. Um, you're emotional right now. Let's see, you crying. Pay attention so you don't mess up your car. My G said that's how you get around. That's how you get from point A to Z. Your car, your money maker. Pay attention, okay? I'm sorry. Then you having some doubt right now because the unknown has just happened. My G said you need to rest. You've been very nurturing during this time of grief. And you got a creative block right now. Um... They say you're seeing through some bullshit that's occurring at this present point of time. Um, said you're very passionate. You have a beautiful spirit. You have a beautiful, uplifting spirit. Folk depend on you, but right now you're dependent. They said you're intuitive as well, and you're experiencing a lot of grief. And a lot of doubt. So you peering through some shit like, what the fuck is going on here? Out of all this disorder and this chaos, you you looking at something else, my jeez. Yeah. You looking at something else right now. You experiencing some other grief, some more grief in your life, some more loss. And you having the incapacity to understand what the fuck is going on. On top of you just experiencing this death of somebody close to you. Somebody just left up out of here close to you. And there's somebody in your energy that you're struggling with. Who is using no discretion. My person said this person. My person. Mm -hmm, my G said this person. Is a dummy. You've been disputing with a dummy. Who has the incapacity to empathize with what you're going through right now. Said so this person has no judgment and they are for knock it head. They are for knock it head. Your antenna's up about something though. You looking at this person like, damn, are you the enemy? You see what just what just happened in my life? I just lost somebody who close to me and you want to lay some bullshit in my life. What in the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? My G said you being strong right now, though, but you still ain't having no understanding of the shit that's going on. You defensive. It says you defensive right now, but you a soldier, and you do have on the cape. You do have on the cape. I feel like you are being strong right now, but this is a little bit too much. Got you scared. Got you feeling hopeless. Got you feeling hopeless. What is this person who in your energy... This person is creating some unnecessary grief right now. This person being greedy. This person is being greedy. 
with the passing of your loved one, this person that is close to you who just passed, um, you're having to prioritize. A lot has to be on the back burner. Family coming together, you know, you're mourning together. Um, I just said, let others care for you right now, too. Let others care for you right now because this this is a this is a sad moment. It's a sad moment, and 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 this news just popped up out the blue. Somebody in your energy is putting pressure on you that you don't need right now. They putting pressure on you that you don't need right now. This person is authoritative, egotistical, me, 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 me type person. Me, 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 me type person. Before this, this energy looking at you like you the bad guy. Like you the bad guy. They jealous of you. They jealous of you. And right now is not the time for that. Is how you feeling. Right now not the time for that. You looking at what it is I'm doing money wise. And we just lost our peoples. I just lost my peoples. You got the wrong shit on your brain. You putting your energy into my finances. And that ain't even none of your business. That ain't even none of your business. You looking at my money opportunities and how I develop my skill. But right now ain't the time for that. It just been some disastrous shit for real. And and and, and you had a stalemate. You at a stale rate mate right now. You like at at this rate that I'm going, I'm gonna lose my motherfucking mind. Cause it's it's this shit is excessive. It's excessive, my G said. Your judgment clouded right now. You like, what is this shit? Let me sit back. You know, I'm working like a mug. I'm I'm I feel as though you're working hard as well. You working hard, then this death come about, and you got somebody in your energy who worried about the wrong things, who worried about shit that don't even matter, especially not right now. My G said, this shit like deja vu to you. It's like deja vu. And you know the scale's not balanced. They said you know the scale's not balanced. And whatever is going on outside of this recent death is overwhelming you. It's overwhelming you and you defensive and you struggling. You've been biting your tongue. You've been, you've been biting your tongue. And my G said you doing that, you not speaking up has caused a lot of setbacks. It has caused a lot of setbacks because folk overstep their boundaries and keep you off in this bullshit ass energy. And right now is not the time. My G said, brainstorm. You need to brainstorm right now. It's a lot of love, a lot of love, 
A lot of happiness. A lot of moodiness. Everybody in their feelings right now. They're leaning towards um, dark thoughts, though, when this death must, must have just happened, must have just occurred. Everybody's still in shock trying to deal with these emotions. Some folk guilty. It's a lot of reminiscing going on. It's a lot of talking going on. And somebody need to have some self-compassion because I feel as though it was a scandal that happened. Some type of scandal occurred. And it's not justified. Somebody is emotionally manipulating individuals that's closely affected by this death. Somebody paranoid. Oh, damn. Somebody paranoid. So what went on? Something going on. And right now, it really ain't the time for it. It ain't the time for it. Um, for something to come out about some cheating, for somebody to be pointing fingers about cheating or for that conversation to have even come up. Somebody most definitely got some options in their back pocket. My G says stay present and find balance. Be present and find balance because... Right now is not the, the time to be dependent on this type of energy because it's going to cause a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Somebody is fucked off in the head mentally. I'm feeling like it's a man fucked off in the head mentally. I'm glad somebody got a, a a level head during this time because somebody's morals are intact. They know about what's going on, but they know how to pick their battles. They know somebody been weak, stepped out. Mm -hmm. Somebody been weak, stepped out. Somebody who is a good provider. Somebody in this situation is providing they smart. They might be a salesman, a teacher, they a master in, in whatever it is that they do. But they're a sex fiend as well. Some new chapters have been starting. There's going to be some death outside of this passing. This loss. And somebody is going to shit and dead shit that they know no longer serve them. And they're going to do it quick. They're going to do it quick. Realizing that the expectations aren't aligned. And what type of evil, corrupt person are you? You're being smug and ugly coming at me. With this ordeal, and I just lost somebody close to me. I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm mourning right now, and they want to argue you to the end, win or lose. My G said, "Forget that. Avoid tink tink because history is repeating itself. 
Right now is the time when you need some strength, somebody to help you to stabilize your emotions, a shoulder to cry on. You can't even talk to this person about how you feeling because you got this cockamamie shit going on. My G said, forgive them and move on. Forgive this person and move on. Forgiving them is going to help to restore your balance because right now you off balance, my G said. You are. You're off balance. And you want to win at any cost, but you're picking your battles right now. Yeah, you pick, you picking your battles right now. And you done lost faith in this relationship anyway, right? You don't have no trust in this person. And you've been compromising and isolating yourself at the same damn time, my G said. That's what they said. Y'all, alignment is needed. There's no growth here. There's no growth. And somebody got too many, too many choices. Project after project. The desire is not with y'all anymore. Somebody willed an end too. Because it's like y'all are always ending and beginning. It'd be some personal attainment there for a minute. Motherfuckers will walk a chalk line, but then it's back to the same old tricks. Personal values are different. Mm -hmm. That's what my G said. Personal values are different. There's no success here. No desire, no determination either. Is what they saying. Yeah, that's what they said. They said you write this person this file. And they don't have no shame. They paranoid right now too. Because they're deceptive. And right now what they doing is fighting what they sell. They trying to use their inner resources. But they confused. And since they used to double dealing and lying. You know, they, they can't keep it real with themselves, so they really don't know how to keep it real with you. They don't know how to do that, period. And they presenting themselves as the opposition. And they talking shit at a time like now. You just lost your kinfo. You just lost your kinfo, and you feeling boxed in, and then this person talking shit. I feel as though... This person is violent. You've shed some old patterns. There was a time when you know you would step up to the plate and come on, batter up. I'm going to go toe to toe with you. But right now ain't the time. Somebody close to you died of an illness. My G said... Retreat, withdraw, and check in for alignment. They want you to stay prayed up and lean towards the spirit of the comforter. They said that's what you need to do and reevaluate this connection that you have with this person who was throwing, who was picking up those motherfucking alley reds from that shit brick road that they own and they trying to keep you on and they throwing them at you. They throwing daggers at you. They finger pointing. They trying to victimize you and trauma bond you to keep you in this connection. My G said you exhausted and you giving up. You know it's some competition right now. You like, God damn it. Right now ain't the motherfucking time. Period. You starting not to give a fuck. I think that's the attitude to have. That's the attitude to have right now because you're out of sync with reality. This 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 death was abrupt. Um, somebody that you're close to, you may be experiencing some weight loss right now too. They said. Be grateful. They want you to be grateful because you got some new beginnings.
Most High called your loved one home. We don't know when we leave up out of here. One day you here, the next day you gone. Think about the good times that y'all had. Lean towards that, my G said. This person, this person needs to be let go. My G said, don't let nothing stop you. You waiting to show your hand, but go about things differently. Go about it a different way. Come from a different angle because they won't be expecting that. My G said, it's possibilities further down the road. But you have to use a different approach. They don't want you to lend any money either. No lending money. Right now, your your energy misdirected. Apparently so. Apparently so. I've experienced a lot of death of those that was real close to me. And I know how it had me discombobulated. And you was in the middle of... um. Some self-development is what I see. You had instructions to work on yourself. That's why right now you're picking your battles. My G said any other time you would have been been and beat this person to the punchline. These creative blocks, you like, damn, I should have said this. I should have did that. No, nah, shit happened for a reason. You having these creative blocks because you done shed and indebted that part of you. Yeah, you just shed it and dead at that part of you. That petty ass energy, it wasn't working for you no more. It's not working for you now. My G said, chill out. You need to surround yourself with your family. It's a mourning period going on. Right now, you're dealing with an asshole, a disloyal, two-faced, fake-ass motherfucker. You see, don't turn down no help right now. you always the pillar of strength. you always the pillar of strength, but to ease your burdens and the turmoil that you're feeling inside, don't turn down that positive help that's coming your way. You see, because right now, you lonely and you tired. And you purging right now. These tears, they're going to be cleansing. You said they're going to be real cleansing. But they really want you to withdraw from this person and create some space. Take some time out and don't even have any small talk with them. Because it's some secrets. And this person is very dishonest. This person thinks of a plethora of ways to shoot you down. Mm hmm. They do. They opposed to a lot that comes out of your mouth, the way you move, how you make your success happen. They jealous. They envious. And they, they at your doorstep. They at your doorstep. My G said align with your higher power. Align with your higher power. You need to pray. This person is your opposition. You got a new phase coming. They said you still got a lot to be learned. Nothing has been easy, but you didn't got to know yourself. They said you popular too. They said you popular. Um, somebody want to be a shoulder for you. Let that person be a shoulder for you. They want you to know that you shining. Even though shit is coming trying to dim your light. Your light can't be dimmed. You still being seen. You, some stuff has been made noticeable about you. 
that ascension, that growth. You may be having some tension at work, my G said, but you will have some success after after some administration affairs. Maybe HR need to get involved. You lost some hope. They want you to pray. They want you to pray, baby. This person from your past might want they they ain't no might. They they trying to get back in. But they this is a false project. I see you moving on. I see this just being a personal setback. You need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself. I just heard we all fall in love with our I ain't nothing person. You know what I'm saying? It be a test of our faith. These people who hurt us, who we feel as though they were mistakes and we be regretting some shit, you will soon learn not to regret it. You will soon learn not to regret it because you will understand that that path was a path of enlightenment. That path could have been a catalyst for you to get to know your higher self. For you to lean on a higher purpose and for you to get knocked back on your destined path. Those stumbling blocks be people, places, and things to help us ascend. Yeah. There's levels to this shit. We got to get the lessons or we repeat it. Restore some balance. Restore some balance, but right now you adapt into balance because you have been on an extreme path. You're a truth seeker too. I know you know when we lose our kinfolk, our day ones, folk close to us. You know how we get together and we like to drink. We like to drink and smoke, eat good. My G said you've been, you know, a little wild here. You need to temper yourself. Make some sound judgment. Whatever you doing, doing, do it in moderation. That's what they saying. Do it in moderation. Okay? Again, I'm sorry for your loss. I feel like you you in this I don't give a fuck mode too. You really need to think. I feel you. I do. You ready to fight. You like, hell no, nah, what the fuck just, just happened here? This wasn't supposed to happen, but everything has its divine point in time. It does. Take care of you. I know you're overwhelmed right now, but you got to take care of you. And you will know who that person is. You will know who that person is. And don't turn them down when they want to come and comfort you. It's going to ease your burdens. You hear me? Touring Goddess, love you. I'm sorry for your loss.